10 WWE wrestlers who acted in big movies. Wrestling is a funny and entertaining spectacle filled with a lot of action. In general, it's well scripted and the fighters are superstars who in a lot of occasions end up acting in movies. Join us to discover which WWE superstars jumped to the big screen. Number 10. Randy Orton Randy Orton has been for years one of the biggest superstars from WWE and his fame has him as a protagonist in some of Hollywood's action movies, such as 12 Rounds 2 and The Condemned 2. He has also participated in comedy films like That's What I Am in a minor role, but it showed us that he can be a versatile actor. His last work was in the action series Shooter. Number 9. The Great Khali Dalip Singh, better known as The Great Khali, during many years was the roof of the WWE. He was a shy fighter but very rude, just like the characters he plays. He has participated in comedies with Adam Sandler in The Longest Yard or Get Smart where he also acted with The Rock. He also had a role in McGruber, a parody of the movie MacGyver where he also acted with the superstar Chris Jericho. Number 8. Kane also known as the Big Red Machine to all his fans, Kane is a perfect example of an actor born to play the bad guy in the horror movies. His first important role was in the well-known series Smallville, where he played the main villain in an episode. He was also the main protagonist in See No Evil 2, where he did what he knows best and acted as a terrific and bloody murderer. I wouldn't be surprised if his next role is similar to this one because he was born for it. Number 7. Nathan Jones This strong fighter is installed in Hollywood since in Troya he played the role of the gigantic Boa Grius in 2004. Since then he's worked in many different productions like Fearless, Asterisks at the Olympic Games, Conan, and Mad Max Fury Road where he acted as a big guy with a machine gun. He also participated in Never Back Down 3 showing his abilities in the ring. He surely deserves his title as a superstar in the WWE. Number 6. Triple H Paul Levesque, better known as Triple H, has participated in well-known cinematic graphic productions. His best work as an actor was in Blade Trinity, where he played one of the main vampires who fought Blade and his team. The film also stars Wesley Snipes, Triple H participated in the comedy The Chaperone with Ariel Winter from Modern Family. His last role was as a voice actor in the movie Surf's Up 2 Wave Mania. Number 5. Hulk Hogan Hulk Hogan is one of the mythical fighters from WWE history and he deserves his fame as a legend. His career in the film industry started in the 80s when he played a minor role in the movie Rocky III. And since then, he's been escalating. He also participated in two episodes of the well-known series The A.T. and also played a role in the sci-fi movie Thunderball. In the 90s, he played a role in Mr. Nanny, Gremlins 2, Spy Hard, Santa with Muscles and Three Ninjas, High Noon at Mega Mountain. Between 2011 and 2015, he participated in the series China, Illinois, one of his last roles. Number 4. John Cena He has been one of the more recognizable faces in the WWE during the years, one of the most loved and popular superstars in the social media. He has played roles in movies such as The Marine or 12 Rounds. What hurts? Everything. His career seems to be progressing because he's also played roles in comedy films such as Trainwreck or Sister, starring Tina Fey and Amy Poehler. Number 3. Stone Cold Steve Austin Stone Cold Steve Austin is one of the most loved WWE fighters. His verbiage, fame as an action man, and charisma have allowed him to play a role in a lot of action movies, like The Condemned, Damage, 
or one of the biggest action movies from this decade, The Expendables. He also participated in the movie The Longest Yard and recently in the movie Grown Ups 2. Number 2. Dave Batista. His role as Drax the Destroyer carried him to the fame in Hollywood. His work in Guardians of the Galaxy was the most important in his career, although he was also known for his role in the series Smallville in 2006. Years later, he participated in the third part of The Scorpion King. And since then, he's had a consistent career. He was part of the casting in The Man with the Iron Fists and Riddick, until he participated in the Marvel movie Guardians of the Galaxy. After this, he'd play a role in Spectre and also participated in the final chapter of the saga James Bond, starring Daniel Craig. And he'd obviously form part of the casting in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Number 1. The Rock, Dwayne Johnson He wasn't the first person doing it, but there's no doubt that The Rock is one of the most famous WWE superstars who had a successful career in Hollywood. Dwayne Johnson has become one of the most recurrent action movie actors. His role in the Fast and Furious saga was one of the most important to date. Keep waiting, bitch. But his cinematographic career comes from years ago. His first important role was in the movie The Mummy Returns, playing the role of the Scorpion King. Since then, he's worked in other films like Walking Tall, Gridiron Gang, The Game Plan, Race to Witch Mountain, normally in a role as a strong and responsible guy, but with a little bit of comedy. Finally, we saw him in Rampage, where he fights extremely giant mutant animals. George. George. What other surprises will he bring us in the future? There's no doubt they will be fantastic roles in good movies. A lot of the fighters have found luck in front of the camera, but which is your favorite? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.